Ah, uh, memories. Hi friends, it is Johnny back with another video and today it is time for another story time. This week I tell you the story of one of my worst dates ever. Before I get into that, yes I'm aware that the last two weeks videos didn't go up. There's a weird file corruption, I posted about it. They will go up probably next month because I already have videos set up for December. Because it would be very odd if I push the December videos back. You just getting like, Merry Christmas in January, you know? So the November ones are just gonna go to January. One of them might go into December considering I have five weeks in December. Haven't decided yet. Let's figure that out. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So I just got back from New York and uh, I had some adventures, some fun, you know, walking through the city, having some nice time, enjoying actual winter because down here people are like it's freezing at like 70 degrees and that ain't cute <laughs> i'm over there sweating and everyone's like bubble coated up but going through the city i passed by bryant park i passed by the dave and busters in times square and those just reminded me of some of my earlier gay dates and thinking about those dates made me think about one of my worst dates ever which is also one of my earlier queer dates. <laughs> now it wasn't his fault at all. We just had really bad luck during the day for whatever reason. Like he was great, okay? So I was in college at the time. I had just come out, I'm feeling myself. You know how it goes. I met this guy, we went on a few dates, and so we decided to go on another date, and for whatever reason we had very bad luck. I believe it was around Mother's Day. The day of the date, I ended up having two movement classes. Now, if you've never been to Performing Arts College and, and or had movement classes, know that one movement class is intense. Two movement classes, you don't want to move anymore. <laughs> you are dead to the world. I don't know whose bright idea it was to put my class up for two movement classes that day, but whatever. So I go about my two movement classes and I'm like, Ugh, okay. Daytime. I gotta try to be cute. I gotta try to act like I'm not dying <laughs> when I get there. So we meet up and we decide to take a stroll through Central Park. Cute, right? So first up, already I'm dead because of the class. We decide to walk through, have a nice little walk, just talking, joking around, having a nice time. He climbs up on this big boulder and he wants to he wants us to sit up there. And so I go to climb up behind him and wouldn't you know it, I twist my ankle. <laughs> my parents don't know the story by the way, so if they're listening, you remember that time I twisted my ankle near like the end of that school year? That's what happened. <laughs> I went on a date, I climbed a rock and I twisted my ankle. Fun times. I wasn't with Malika. Hi, Malika. She was just my cover story. So I'm there. I twist my ankle. I'm like, mm. I try to play it off. I'm trying to be like, mm, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not in pain at all. <laughs> and so he's like, all right, don't worry about it. Let's just keep walking. Try to walk it off. Maybe that'll make it better. I'm like, okay, yeah, good idea. We walk and I'm in pain. I'm in pain. <laughs> so we decided to take a break, sit down at a bench, and just like sit there and talk for a bit. Be cute, you know? So we have our hands on each other's like thighs or knees or whatever, and we're just talking to each other. And these two old men got it in them to have the caucasity to come up to two POC queer people and, be, and call us the F slur. Fun, you know what I mean? So I'm already irritated, you know, I had two movement classes, I twisted my ankle, and it wasn't even from the movement class. So I look at them, I'm like, you know what, yeah, we are F words. But you know what, at least I'm not gonna die in two years, I'll see you in hell. Because they were like 98, you know, they're they knocking at death's door, death is just there like, <gasps> like getting ready to grab them. <laughs> I don't know how the hell someone that old has the balls to call someone a slur when they know damn well that the right gust of wind can break a bone. And look at me. I'm more than a gust of wind, baby. <laughs> but you know, so I'm irritated. He knows that I'm irritated because of that now on top of that. So he's like, let's go walk away. Like the old men walk away grumbling. I'm like, I don't want to be here right now. So we go walk away. And we go to sit down underneath one of the bridges in the Central Park. 
Uh, to make out a little bit. <laughs> you know, we're both native New Yorkers. We should have known better. We should have known better. But we, you know, you know, hormones. Yeah, hormones. So we go, we sit down, and, uh... It's wet. It's wet. We sat in someone's piss. Not ours. <laughs> We sat in someone's piss, and I'm just like, that is the icing on top of this cake. <laughs> We're trying to laugh it off. We're just like, mm, what are the odds? What is this date? <laughs> and then to top it off, after the date, I had to go to my aunt's house for, I forgot what, some family get together. Maybe it was a Mother's Day thing, I don't remember. I just remember we were going to my aunt's house for some family get-together. And again, my parents did not know about this. They thought I was rehearsing at my friend Malika's house. So, we're there just talking like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> you know, what are we gonna do? We both gotta get on the train to get home, but neither one of us wanna be that person that smells like piss on the train, because there's always that one for some reason. But we didn't wanna be that one. Never, never that one. We walk around a bit, trying to find any place that would have something to make us smell a little better. The only thing we came across was a Victoria's Secret. So we go in there, two guys, already looking kind of shady, you know, smelling of piss. <laughs> we got to like the perfume area, and we're just like, turn around. <laughs> okay, now you turn around. <laughs> just spray our asses. <laughs> trying to cover up any scent we could. And we're just there dying, laughing, like, mm, acting like we're there shopping for somebody. <laughs> what do you think about this smell? Mm, not, not for her, no, not for her. <laughs> we just had to go through the perfume department. We leave the Victoria's Secret, and we're just still trying to make the best of it. We're trying to, like, keep our morale up, you know what I mean? We're joking around, we're singing, we're just having a good time still, in spite of smelling like piss and cheap perfume. I'm not saying all of their perfume smells cheap, I'm just saying some of it, and that one smells cheap. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> that is my opinion. Yeah, so we're there like singing songs from Steven Universe and stuff like that, just trying to keep our morale up. We went on a few more dates after that, but <laughs> that was the worst one. And again, it wasn't because of him, it was just horrible luck. And so we say our goodnights, we kiss, and then we go on our different trains to go home. I go home, and the first thing I do is I go to my house first, because I have to pass my house to go to my aunt's house. So I go home, throw my pants in the wash, put on new pants, go to my aunt's house. I get there, my mother's like, those are the pants you left home in. I'm like, yeah, no, I sweat through them because, you know, the two movement classes, so I put on you pants. <laughs> but that's what really happened, mom. <laughs> I don't tell them about these things because, like, I'm very private about my dating life. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's the thing that happened. That's, mm, that was still not the worst date I've been on. Still not the worst date, but that one's not even a full, like, video, so I might just make a TikTok about that one. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, that's the story of one of my worst dates. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and bing bong the ding dong down below to be alerted when I make a new video. And until next time, go check out my other stuff. I got some Florida Man, some Fever Dream, some Story Times and some randomness now. Let's Plays are coming back. I've just been busy. <laughs> but until next time, bye!